Well, you're from Four Guys Guns, and I'm here to tell you that this is the gun that I would purchase hands down over a Scorpion, an MPX, possibly even an MP5. Want to see what's badass coming out of Slovakia? Stick around till after. Cue the B-roll. Alright, so my bad, I literally have never heard of Grand Power before. There's some of you viewers out there that are going to go ahead and chastise me. Go ahead and do it right down in the comments. Please make sure you like and subscribe. want to give a huge thanks and shout out to Gun Mag Warehouse. They also have their own channel. Make sure you check them out because they supplied this wonderful Strybog SP9A1. I know what you're thinking. Looks just like a BT. Um, it, pronunciation down below, please. I love when you guys do the phonetic thing, so do like capital lowercase. Mm. It's totally not. It's made by Grand Power. It's brought into this country by a company called Global Ordnance as the importer, and it is equipped with an SB Tactical side folding brace. In this configuration, as you can see here, I, I definitely had a little bit of fun putting some extra parts and components on it. And given the price point, I thought it was a fitting time to try out a Holosun, which, as you can see, I've already put a very nice ding in. Took a fall from about this height, actually. Very similar to similar subguns in this category. It is basically an extruded like square. It's as simple as simple gets. It's one pin, whole thing comes apart, off comes the rear, and the whole carry and assembly comes out. Stupid simple. There's nothing super magical about this, so why would I take this over everything else? At $650, this is better than all of those. You get not one, not two, but three 30 round magazines, ambidextrous side charger, ambidextrous controls for both magazine release and slide lock. We'll get to this little thing in a second though. And this side folder from SB Tactical, a little wobbly. Nothing that can't be fixed or adjusted to be tighter and better. You can hear from the lock up just by me screwing around with it. You can see in the slow motion video, you can see in just about every shot of me using this thing, it is nothing but fun. $650. At $650, this is what I want. This thing is just badass. On previous generations, um, I've been told that they are very, very gassy. So we did a couple things. One, we ran it completely open. We also put a suppressor on it to help induce kind of more gas. We had Jack, the wrong hander, actually run it and run it fast. The gas was not bad, it was negligible even. Like, Impressively so. I, I have no doubt in my mind that they took that into account. I don't know if it has to do with the barrel length increase or whatever they did of the previous generation. And while aesthetically it kind of makes it look a little goofy in the front, let's put a suppressor on it. Everything's cooler, so it's no big deal. It's basically like a BT and a Scar had a baby, and a lot of this comes down, breaks down, moves around. It's very similar when it comes to things like this charging handle, which by the way, is non-reciprocating. So if you want to get that super grand, dumb, cost to this forward grip, guess what? It's not going to whack you and teach you that wonderful lesson that FN always likes to teach us. The magazine release is easy. I mean, I do want to point out something. The controls are all very flush. Not flush to the point where they're unusable. This one is a little bit. Your bolt catch um, definitely could use, like, quite literally, Guys, give me like two more millimeters, this thing will be money. Hopefully the aftermarket kind of digs into this gun because there's so much potential here. Anyway, we're getting off point. So let's talk about the actual feel and function, so to speak. I, get, I actually got asked quite a few times, how does this compare to the 10 millimeter Vector? And it's not really a fair comparison simply because the Vector has literally a whole recoil mitigation system dedicated just to mitigating. The recoil. Anyway, this feels like a 9mm. Um, if you put a stock on a Glock, if you put a stock on an MP, whatever your flavor, you know, 9mm is, it's just translated directly to your shoulder. You, you feel it. I would say no worse than a 223. So, all you small frame and 
softer types out there, you're still gonna have no problem shooting this. As you can see by the video, it does shoot both folded and one-handed, so it's not like it's this monstrous recoil thing. It's just, I think it's more than you expect for a 9mm. The non-reciprocating charging handle is a plus because, you know, especially when you get to a frame this small, if you're a bigger guy, uh, what's gonna end up happening is, is you're not gonna be super comfortable in that, you know, close 90s SWAT grip situation, <clears throat> making your modified isosceles. It allows you to get your hand out there a lot further and feel very stable with the gun. It cycles smooth as butter. Like, I can't even emphasize enough, this is under promise, over deliver, all day long. You could literally buy two of these for one Scorpion, or almost three for one MPX. I mean, it's the grip itself is, <laughs> you know, it's, if you like the Magpul K grip, if the Magpul K grip had like, with a Stark Industries grip, uh, it's contoured, but it's still thin, and it, it's, it just feels really good. The whole thing feels like, you know, yeah, you really got your money's worth out of this guy, and then some. The SP, it folds the way I like it. There's no catcher, which is fine, because it's a brace. Uh, I like that it locks up on its own, and it's just one button, instead of like, disengage, re-engage with a button, and when you're trying to like, put it back in the car, if you're doing vehicle stuff or anything like that, it's, that's kind of a pain in the butt. The only downside, really, is that there's no sling mounts. Uh, no point to attach on the rear or the front. However, the back plate that it does come with does have like that single point sling attachment. And like I said, M-Lock up front, you could put like a little situation on there. Totally your call. Again, flush. So the selector, I would, I would personally like it to be a little bit tighter. Uh, it is polymer. It does have a good sounding click, um, but there is a little bit of like that squeaky playness to it. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but it works, does what it's supposed to do. It actually locks it pretty damn hard. You can see, there isn't even like take up, play, no stop, nothing. Just for demonstration purposes. So, I don't know if it's the consistency of the weight behind the trigger. It's not a long throw by any stretch of the imagination. It's not, it's like it's a bad break. It breaks clean. There's just something about that that trigger, I just can't get it really like hammering down like Jack can. One of the other key complaints that a lot of people had is the flip up sights are polymer. Guys, don't even act like you've never bought a pair of freaking Magpul Embus sights. Let's be honest, polymer is doing way better than it ever has before and I don't think a secondary backup set of sights that is both low mount and flip up for funsies to really make sure that 9mm goes as far as it can. Front and rear, built in, free of charge. They seem to work just fine. I didn't break them. We did try everything from like the super hot, like 93 grain Inceptor polymer ammo all the way up to, uh, I think, 165 grain Hush, which, by the way, sounds amazing. So, 115, 124, there has been no dings, no scratches, no, it, it's done absolutely everything I asked it to do and then some and it still comes back for more. I like shooting this thing. Jack likes shooting this thing and that's, that's a tough enough to swallow. So overall, if you really want to get quite literally the most out of your money as you can, you need to go ahead and call your local shop and tell them you want a Grand Power Strybog made in Slovakia and just know that this is what's in the box. The box, mind you, looks like it's probably the nuclear football from North Korea, and when you open it, there's like a rotary phone inside. So, don't take the packaging as face value. This thing is rock solid, and I'm loving every second of it. So while we'd like to thank Gun Mag Warehouse um, for the loaner, I'm probably gonna steal this. This is mine now. For legal purposes, this is a joke. You stay safe, check your chambers, and I will see you on the range. You just said that's a tough nut to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> what the f***? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that literally made me a little queasy. <laughs> like, ugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I can't even. I'm just done. I'm just done. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> it took a second. That was like a pull the pin and throw situation. <laughs> that is the exact case they use. Boom, boom, pia, pia, beats, beats, beats. Pew, 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 slow pan. Strybug. You doing okay? Yeah, the case thing was a little weird. You just kind of jumped into it without talking about it. Okay. What do you want to talk about? It, no, that's fine. It's a milk jug with f***ing no, crate. No, that's fine. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. He went the... Nope. Uh, <laughs> you got to take the bad with the good. So overall, the... <laughs> I don't know what that noise is, but I don't like it. <laughs> Sounds like your ball sack rubbing on your jeans. Clips. Yeah. <laughs> it's the sweet meats. <laughs> That's literally the most disgusting sound I've ever heard in my life. Ew. Stop. I don't need to hear it. It's denim. What is your problem? I don't need to hear you me. It's the denim like folding and it's the noise that jeans make. Yeah, but you're making a face while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. The O face. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm not even looking at it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Again? Part of Czechoslovakia. Then they broke up. Like Slovakia. Probably. Now it's just Slovakia. Okay. I, that's like geography, I don't know. This is the South Carolina of the, <laughs> the Czech Republic, is what I'd say. <laughs> Shut up. Really? <laughs> I think it's south, yeah. We're in. Bang, bang, pew, 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 sure. pew, roll. Wow, reloads. Oh, music to the beat. Keep that in there. We're going to go over some of the value-packed add-ons. It's not the case. Case is definitely not value packed. It is Whatever. not value packed. 